hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to make this one piece and i have my my tape measure scissors a tapestry needle my stitch markers my hook a 4.0 mm and my yarn which is by caron simply soft in this color so i'll show you how to do so so to get started we'll be making the underwear portion so to do so we'll make a slip knot and we're going to make our base chain for one and a half inches so to get started I'm going to make a slip knot and we're going to start by making our base chain of a one and a half inches so one two three four and for me that's about seven inches <laughs> seven chains and I'm going to chain three yarn over and make a double crochet into that seven chain so we're just going to make double crochets in all the chains until we're at the end So now we're going to chain two, turn our work, and make a double crochet until we're at the end. So we'll make this same row for four inches. So after you finish making the first part with the four inches of rows, I have seven rows in all, we are going to do our increases for the number of rows that you'll see on the screen. And to increase, we're going to chain two, turn our work, yarn over and make a double crochet into that same stitch. And we're going to continue with our double crochets until we're at the end where we'll where we will make two double crochets in the last stitch. So that is how it looking so far. So remember I had eight double crochet is in all so I should have 10 so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 so we're going to continue making our increases on both sides until we have completed the number of rows for your size alright so I've made all of my rows and I will just use a stitch marker just to mark where I made the first part which is the the 4 inches and then here which I made 13 rows so I'm going to use the stitch marker to mark that 
So what we're going to do now is to continue with our increases until I have about, since I'm making for a size small, I'm going to do continue with my increases until I get 13 inches. So you'll do the same for your size that you see on the screen. But what is different is that you need to know the middle portion. So what we're going to do is to count the amount of double crochets that we have and divide it by two or just find the middle piece. Alright, so I have 35 double crochet in all, it should be 36, but I missed a increase here. But it's fine. It is fine. Everything is fine. So what we're going to do is to find the middle. So since I have 35, it should be 17 on one side, 17 on the other side. So I need to find the 18th stitch. So what we're going to, so now we are going to, as I mentioned before, we're going to continue with our increases. So we chain two, turn our work, yarn over and make our increase. So continue until we are near to the stitch marker. So now that we are near the middle, we are going to skip the middle piece. So we have two more double crochets left, we are going to make those. We are going to chain one to skip where the stitch marker is and then make our double crochet in the next stitch. So this is what it is looking like so far. If you had an even amount of numbers, you will just skip two instead of one. So we're going to continue with our increases. And remember we're doing our increases even with the gap in the middle until we have the length that I showed you before. For me, it is 13 inches. So we'll continue with our increases until we're at the middle. So now that I'm near the middle, so we skip, we made one chain. So each time we are going to add two chains on each level. So I have one here and I need to make three. So what I'm going to do is to skip the, the first and the second double crochet. So where you have the gap, you count two more on each side. So I'm going to chain yarn over, make my double crochet, and these two pieces that you see here, I'm going to make three chains. So one, two, three. Yarn over and enter into that next double crochet. So just like so.
all right so now that i am at the next level in case i didn't explain it clearly you are going to make continue with your increases on each side until you're at the until you have one double crochet left well for the gap you're going to make uh, increase the number of chains there so right here i stopped before i have the last double crochet so i had one three and as i mentioned before you add two so you'd be five so i'm going to chain five so one two three four five and then we're going to ignore this one as well and then enter into the second one so that's how you'll make yours so basically you ignore the double crochet near the gap spaces So now that I'm at the other the next level, again I stopped at before the one double crochet that I have left. So I had one, three, five, so I need to make seven. Because remember we add two each time. Yarn over and we're going to ignore that double crochet there and enter into the next. So that's how you'll do it just in case it was not clear before I hope you get it now so remember you continue with your increases on both sides until you've reached the desired inches for your size Alright, so just to check, I have about 12 inches, inches in all, so I'm just going to continue off camera until I get 13 inches for this part. Okay, so now that we have the length that we need we need to make the the other piece which in total should be for the small for so far a small to medium is about eight inches so we need to make the rest so this is about five stretch so we need to make three more inches right and uh, what we need to do so after we get the area that is long enough we need to keep it straight so we're going to continue with no increases at all but continue with increasing the middle portion as we are doing before so we we'll just chain make our chain chain two turn our work yarn over and make your double crochet into that next stitch remember no increases so when we have one double crochet left we're going to make the same amount of chains that we have here plus two
yarn over and continue with your double crochet by and we ignore this piece. And when we're in the last stitch, we'll just put one because we're not increasing. So this is how it looks. What you need to do now is to use your stitch marker to mark where we need our last increases. Well, yes, where we need our last increases are so right here. So we're going to continue until we have in total eight inches for the torso but after you've made your last rows of increase we're going to make the the amount of rows that will complete the eight inches so chain two turn and work and make our double crochet and we're going to just continue So now that I have one double crochet, I'm going to make my chain. Yarn over and make a double crochet into the next double crochet. So I'm going to finish up off camera and then show you how it looks when I'm finished. So after you finish making your um, inches your 8 to 10 inches in total we are going to mark this part to show that that's where we stop with our torso part section we're going to chain two turn our work and then we're going to make double crochets straight across no increases as well so after you finish making the double crochet straight across what we're going to do is to make the cup the bra cup so to do so we need to find the middle of the number of double crochets that we have here as well all right so I have 50 double crochets on each side and I use my stitch markers to mark the middle so we're going to continue make our double crochets so we're going to chain two turn our turn our work and uh, we are making the bra cups so to do so we are going to start decreasing so to decrease we yarn over take your hook insert it into the second pull up a loop insert it into the third Pull up a loop, pull through three, pull through two, and that's your decrease. So we'll continue by ma with making our double crochets until we are close to the the stitch markers. So now that we're close to the stitch marker, what I'm going to do is to make a double crochet into that one next to the stitch marker and ignore the chains where the stitch markers are. So I'm going to chain two, yarn over and then make a double crochet in the double crochet beside it. So that's what we're going to do. So that is our first space for the top portion.
and to remember at the end you make your decreases as well but for this top I'll show you something different for the decrease so when you have three double crochets left you are going to yarn over insert your hook into that first one pull up a loop into the second pull up a loop pull through three and then pull through two then yarn over and complete your double crochet for that row so like so so we're going to chain two turn yarn over and decrease so insert our hook pull up a loop insert our hook into the next pull up a loop and that's our decrease So since this was two chains, I'm going to add two more. One, two, three, four. Yarn over, skip this double crochet and enter into the next. So that's it. So remember, when we have three double crochets left to decrease, we're going to yarn over, insert into the one, first one, then the second, and pull up a loop, pull through three, pull through two, yarn over, and complete that row with the double crochet. So I'll finish this off camera, and then show you when I am at the top to show you what to do next so when we have three double crochets left we remember we need to skip this piece and then we have two left so we're just going to yarn over make a double crochet into that space and then continue with the amount of chains that we have to connect to this so we're going to have two for the top And then we're going to yarn over and complete the two sets of double crochet here. So that is it. We're going to now chain one. Oops. So chain one and then cut our yarn. Pull through. So this is how it is looking so far. Now we're going to make the back portion and we're going to make a slip knot. Take our hook, insert it here and here. We're going to chain three and increase make an increase so we're going to make a double crochet into that same stitch so 
yarn over and continue until we're at the end to make the first row. And you want to hide your yarn as well when you're making your double crochets. So our pattern will now be no increases, no increase, increase, no increase, increase, no increase. So we're going to alternate between increases and no increases until you get a total of the number of rows that you'll see on the screen. So we're going to chain two, turn our work, and make a double crochet into the next stitch because we are doing the row with no increases so i'm going to finish mine off camera and then show you how it looks when i am finished all right so this is how it looks so far and uh, what I should have mentioned is that you're going to do two less well so this is how it looks so far and uh, what I'm going to do now is to just chain one and cut my yarn so now to the fun part we are going to make the chains to attach to the Paid into the swimwear, the piece, the crochet piece. And uh, for the size that I'm working on, we are, I am going to make about 200 chains and then attach it at the top right here. So that's what I am going to do. So after you've made your straps, what we're going to do, where we have this stitch marker, we are just going to move it over to this side here. We are going to attach at the top, so where you have that double crochet, that chain 2 that we made, we are going to attach this, the chain to it. Let me just so we attach it at the top with a single crochet and we're going to make our chains single crochet down until we're at our first stitch marker. So when we're at our first stitch marker, we're going to chain two, one, two, and then skip where the stitch marker is and play and make a single crochet in the next part there. So that's what we have. So what, what we're going to do now is just to remove that stitch marker R, keep it in place if you have more, and then use another stitch marker to put to the exact position 
so that, that it is even on both sides. So you can remove it now and continue with our single crochets until we are at the second stitch marker. So now that I am at the second stitch marker, I'm going to chain two and then skip the space where the stitch marker is and place a, a single crochet in the next space to it. Now I'm going to trace where this stitch marker was to the other side. And place my stitch marker there. I'm going to remove this and continue until I am at this stitch marker. So now that we are at our final stitch marker, chain two and then make a single crochet in the space next to it. Like that. And as as I said before, we're going just we're just going to put it at the other side so that it is even. Move this. So we are going to continue with our single crochets until we are at this piece, the end here, where we will make the number of chains that you need. For me, I'm going to make, well, for small, I'm going to make 80. And the, you can make the amount of chains, depends on you. So to start with the second part, we are just going to continue. We're going to start with the back. So remember I had 80 here, 80 chains. So I'm going to make 80 to connect to this piece. So now that I have 80, I'm just going to connect it at the chain two that I have here. And then continue with the border, single crochets for the border. So now that I'm near the stitch marker, I'm going to chain two skip that space and then enter with a single crochet in the neck in the space next to it and continue until I am at the next stitch marker so I am near the stitch marker again so I chain two skip that the stitch marker and enter into the next space with a single crochet and continue so I'll do the same chain two make my single crochet here So now that I'm at the top where I have the two double crochet, I'm just going to make my single crochet into that space and I am just going to make my 200 chains like I had with the first piece here. So now that I'm finished, I'm just going to remove my stitch markers. And then just going to make the crisscross part of it just to show you so what you'll do 
you know, for the spaces that we've made and then you're going to take the, up the string from the opposite side and pull through just like that or maybe you should keep your stitch markers in until you finish doing this So we're going to do it again for the next and just pull it through. And then those strings will now tie to the underwear, the back part of the underwear. So like this. So that's basically how it looks. Well, show you pictures of how it looks on the mannequin so that you can get a better idea of how it will fit all right so thanks again for watching guys and if you have any questions feel free to link it in the comment box below or any general comments that will help thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time bye